Please don't try and stop me. Wow. Why you push him? Oh man. Why did I have to fall for somebody like her? That's sad. <laughs>
Judging by the situation, it seems the journey to Old Milsha needs to happen as soon as possible. Yes. According to Representative Helmer, if they use your 100 series prototype special navigational skills, they could potentially travel to Old Milsha undetected. Yes. It'll be very dangerous. But I can't put the entire star cluster at risk because of my personal feelings. Mommy. It feels strange to me now. For some reason, I don't want to let you go. Mommy. It's just like he... Like Ziggurat said, you and Sakura are two completely different people. The Sakura that Rubido described to me was a carefree tomboy. But you... You're a thoughtful, dependable young woman. That's why I want to get to know you better. It's going to be a difficult mission, but... Make sure you come back. I'll be waiting. Yes! Aww. I'm glad, I'm, I'm glad that you finally had to change your heart. Okay. Ooh, that's a sexy-ass airship. Or spaceship. Damn. The Damarong. But yeah, I'm glad that Yuli and Momo are getting along now. Xion's room. And everyone is super excited about it. Hey, Xion, are you even listening to me? I'm listening. Damn. Miyuki, do you even know what's going on? We are on high security alert because of that phase distortion. I know. It's because the path to Old Milsha was suddenly opened, right? The observation teams are going nuts. Well then, now's not the best time to be chatting like this, is it? That's not very nice. What about you? The director still hasn't received the Cosmos Real World Operation Data Report. Huh? What the hell? <gasps> Nephilim! Ne Nephilim? What the hell was she doing there? Xion? Xion? What? Oh, sorry. You were saying? I said you should hurry up and send the data to the director. Hmm. Is something wrong with you? Are you feeling okay? No. I mean, it's nothing. I'm just tired. I'm going to get some rest. Talk to you later, okay? Wait, Xion! Hmm. She likes hanging up on people a lot. Was that an illusion? Do you honestly? Why? Why was she? Why did she have such a sad face? Hmm. I don't understand. What's going on? That's what I want to know. Obviously, that was not an illusion because we saw we met Nephilim in the first game. She she here she's here for a reason. I'm feeling restless. Alan has some sedatives on him. I should fight them and try and get some sleep. Yeah, pretty much. But in any case, all right, now we're in control of Xion now. Let's see, and I don't have anything on her. Oh, well. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention this. But, um, yeah, you guys remember the swimsuit that I got for Xion, right? Yeah, I equipped that on her. So, there you go. I, I think that, that was like an episode or two ago. I completely forgot that I had swimsuits for her and Momo. So, let's see. In any case, we can use the save point here. Um, use it if you need to. How's it going? Good day, Chief Uzuki. The entire ship is currently under high security alert. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> no. In any case, this ship is like a giant ass for Glende. But luckily, we want to explore every nook and cranny of this ship. Thank Arceus. Exploring the Wolf Glende. Oh my god. Viewers. 
you remember how long that took in the first game, right? That took like, what, five? No, yeah, wait, wait, wait. Well, we had that simulator thingy last time, but like five episodes. God damn. Uh, let's see. To the room, to the east. Hmm. Is this the right? Where the fuck am I going? <laughs> okay, that's the room we were just at. We gotta find where Alan's room is. Let's follow the hallway east. Okay, there you go. Yeah, sorry, because I had to actually look at my notes this time instead of not looking at them. Yeah. Even though I played the game multiple times and shit like that, I still need to have use my notes and shit there, you know, to see where the fuck I'm going. You know, that's just how it is. Like I said, I think I said this once before to you. You can play a game several times, but still get lost and shit. That's just how that's just how it is. Or maybe that's just me. Oh, Shion, what happened to your glasses? Weren't those glasses a, a present from Chief Kevin? I thought those were really important to you. Why did Why did you take them off? Um, Alan broke them. Ooh. Shion must have been really pissed at Alan. Especially knowing that that was a gift from, um, from, from Kevin. Wow. Chief, what's wrong? What, a sedative? Yes, I have some, but are you okay? You don't look well. Maybe you should go to your room and get some rest. Yes, you're right. I'm sorry, I, I think I'll go do that. Yeah, you go do that, girl. In any case, mm. excuse me, viewers. Otherwise than that, though, now we gotta head on back to Xion's room. Hmm. Maybe we can figure out why Nephilim was even in her room in the first place. Now, we haven't seen Nephilim in a hot minute, so there must be a good reason why she showed the fuck back up here. She did kind of give us a task in the first game, but now I don't even remember. Alan's sedative is starting to work. I think I'll lie down for a little while. So are those like sleeping pills or something? Mm. Or sleeping gummies? Mm. Those are good. Especially the Alka-Seltzer berries that give you, you know, help you sleep. Good night, viewers. Uh-huh. What the hell? What? This is... The fuck? It's the Zohar? This is Fibronia? Fibronia? Feb? Is that you? Xion. Feb? What in the world's going on? What is this place? Why are you here? This is the cage in which my sisters are held captive. <gasps> oh, right! A frigid prison constructed for the Zohar. A prison? But... Where are they? I don't see them. Xion. Set them free from this cage. Please, I want you to lift the curse that mankind has placed upon them. But I don't know where I am. Where is this place? How do I save them? I don't understand any of this. Soon, you will visit this place. Please, Xion, save Cecily and Kath. Wait! Feb! Wow. That's right, she did, she did ask us to save the, her sisters in the last game. Uh. Where was that place? A dream? Hmm. Oh, man. Oh. 
Right. I have to send the data. Man. Oh no, look at the time. The director must be furious. I have to go to the communications room. Yeah, pretty much. In the case, now we gotta head on back and give the um give the director the data. Are those cars? That those cannot be cars. This is a fucking spaceship. Hmm. Then again, judging by how sexy this ship is and stuff, I wouldn't I, I wouldn't put it past them. Alright viewers of Mac, just wanted to take a quick little pause break. But yeah, now we know what we have to do. Well Well we gotta basically we know now. Oh god, fail. <laughs> See, leave the room in the morning, go back. Oh yeah, sorry viewers, I went I went the fucking wrong way. Gotta talk to Alan. Um uh, forward! You run faster, Shion. <laughs> I know, right? Well, you need to get your ass in gear. Fast forward all the way. Hmm. Huh? <gasps> Nephilim. Nephilim. So it was you. Was this all you're doing? Hmm? What's this about? What in the world are you and Feb trying to tell me? Feb is waiting for you. There's no time left. Waiting? At that place in my dream? Xion. You must go. And there, you must make an important choice. It is for your sake, as well as theirs. It is something very important to both your past and to your future. My choice? Past? Future? What are you saying? The path has already been opened. Please grant her this one request. The path? You mean... Melsha? Yep. Feb's sisters are on Melsha! Yeah. Shion. Hurry. Before he awakens again. Who? Feb, save her sisters. Chief! Huh? Are you in there? Hmm. Damn it, Alan! Got some pluck to go on um, to do. Ah, Chief! You're not busy, are you? If it's okay with you, I... I'm sorry, I have to go somewhere now. Huh? Talk to me later, okay? What? Hey, where are you going in such a hurry? Old Milsha. Nani? Oh, I see. It's very romantic this time of... Wait, Milsha? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Chief, are you out of your mind? Do you understand what's going on out there? We're on high security alert. There's a war about to start. Besides, what are you going to do for transportation? There's no way the Administration's Bureau is going to authorize a transfer in a state of emergency. It's all right. I've got an idea. There's a transport here on the dam rung that Kevin was developing concurrently with Cosmos. If I use it, I could travel through hyperspace without going near the UMN. Oh, well, that makes sense. Wait, what are you saying? That's a double-A rank secret even within Vector. Y you can't just go and... I'm going. I've already made up my mind. Please don't try and stop me. Wow. Why'd you push him? Oh, man. Why did I have to fall for somebody like her? That's sad. Hey, Chief! Wait up! Why? Like, why did she push him like that? I mean, like, don't try and stop me. She could just said that and just left the room. She had to push.
jump? Hmm, let's see. The transport was located. But in any case, Alan is there with Xi'an now as an extra. She's, well, he's not there fighting with her. But he's there in spirits, even though he's there physically too. But, yeah, pretty much. Alright, but, I don't know what it is, but, Xi'an was like, well, she wasn't like moody moody in the first game. But in this game, and as you'll see in the, when I do the third game too eventually, Xi'an is just really, she acts like a total bitch. Like, not completely. I mean, you feel her pain. She's going through a lot. Yeah, we get it. But she acts like a rude bitch. And, I, and I'm, I'm just saying this because I've seen her personality in the third game. Granted, she will go through a lot of shit, but I'm not spoiling that, so you'll see what I mean soon enough, but, yeah, I, 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 I don't like Xion's attitude in this, in, in the second game, she comes, she comes off as a bitch, I think the craft we're after is, be is below us in the research block of the restricted area on the double-A rank, oh god, that's a lot of shit, the security here is reinforced at night, so there might be robot sentries all around, well, let's go have some fun, Alan. Fun? Chief, is this the time, or are you a bit too excited about this? Did I hand her a stimulant instead of a sedative? <laughs> Probably did. Maybe Xion's on something like, like N. But no, 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 I seriously doubt that. Trust me, N is on some really crazy shit. Xion, she has some purpose. Oh, shit! Hey, dude! Yeah, we got enemies, bitches! Do you really think this is a good idea? Um, why are you here then? <laughs> but in any case, do enemy here. VSS Emissive. Let's see, let's see. 1,840 HP. He's with the Thunder. VSS Frenzel. 2,720 HP. Both of them are weak to Thunder. It really makes no difference. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, Emissive's break status is CB. And front sales break status is BB. So, there you go. BB, bitch! Alright. Are you done? Cool. Eat this, bitch! Boom! Ow! Bitch. Give up and surrender! Boom! Ow! Never say die! There you go. Oh yeah, I, I, I forgot Xi'an was even wearing her swimsuit. What the hell? I just defeated you a moment ago! Wow! Yeah. Yeah. Come on, bitch! I'm taking all comers today. Your guns are weak. And so are you. when she's in her swimsuit. <laughs> oh, man. We still need to get Ziggy. You down. We still need to get Ziggy and, um, and, and, um, Cosmos' swimsuits. Damn! Oh, fuck you, bitch! Yeah! Huh. In any case, you might want to take out Emissive first, because I think he's the one that's summoning these front cell bastards. Yeah, kick his ass first, and then go for Mati! There you go. Like Xion is. <laughs> In any case, yep, keep stocking up. How dare you! Die, bitch! Take this! This is it! Fuck off! Ooh. Damn! Invention's not bad at all. This, exactly. This is way better than the weapon you had in the first game. Damn. Whew. Oh, yeah. I might want to actually heal Xion before she kind of gets KO'd. Don't want to start this segment over again. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. This dungeon is a little bit long, so bear with me, viewers. 
Luckily, Xion is a one is a one woman army. She doesn't even need the whole party here to help her out. So, yeah, pretty much. Okay, okay, yes, thank you. Huh. Uh, what's this? Boom! Come on, bitch! Oh man! I wanted to get him in the trap, but I was I was I'm too slow. You down. <sighs> oh well, fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it! Boom! Don't lie! No. no. <laughs> I haven't used that meme in a while. Ah! Of course, Bill O'Reilly is just so memeable. So predictable. No problem. Do it live! No, no, no. Whew. All right. Let's see here. Yeah, this is the area in the damn wrong that starts to get a little bit annoying. Ow. But bear with me, because I'm going to try and get you viewers through here today. Well, hopefully today. If not today, this might be have to split into a little harder. Ah! This is a semi-long dungeon. Melva! Like, what's with all these damn boxes here? Shit. Come on! Alrighty. I'm taking you down. No, I'm taking them down. You're actually doing the damage. Yeah! <laughs> Disengage your weapons and surrender! Never say die! There you go. Miyuki's new invention's not bad at all. <laughs> and of course, Shein has to put her hands up and, and show her tatas and shit. Like, you know, yeah. She is just fan servicing at this point. There's a reason why they give you the swimsuits this early. I don't know. Maybe they, maybe they didn't have confidence the story would thrill you enough. Even though it is a thrilling story. But then they need they need to put some fan service in here, so they gave everyone swimsuits. But again, Sergeant Address number seven. Perfect. Alright. Unfortunately, we can't do shit about it because we don't have the decoder yet. But it's there. Let's see. There are some enemies in here in this section. So I'll probably take them out on, or, or rather, off screen. Be right back. All right, viewers, I'm back. Now, I took on all the enemies in that area um, that I was just in. Now, over here, there's a couple chests, or rather, not chests, a couple boxes. Destroy them, and one of them you can find a medkit L. So there you go. Yeah, because Shion took an L. No, no. Just kidding. She didn't take it now. In the case, it restores um 75% of maximum H um HP. And speaking of HP, um on screen, I got a couple skills for Xion. I completed um um class or level two class C so I can get her to revert in vaccine spells. So there you go. Not that the vaccine spell is that useful, but I wanted to get it more so just to get her some, some more class points. In the case, these boxes out the way. I hope, I really hope to Arcus I don't end up getting, you know, fired <sighs> for destroying company property. But, you know, I guess it is what it is, right? Hashtag, it is what it is. Deal with it. There you go. In this case, we get a mech and M here. All right, before we head up there, let's go and see what's up here first. Yeah. We don't even need the full party for, um, for this part. Because all the enemies here are weak to are weak to thunder attacks, probably. I wonder what this button does. Chief, we probably shouldn't touch it. Oh, shut up. Who want it? <laughs> what? Oh. Oh shit! No! <laughs> oh, another door. I told you not to. Ellen, you are such a fucking worry ward. Chill out, brah. Chill. Chillax. So there you go. But yeah, there's yeah, uh, uh, another door just opened up. How nice. Here we go. Move! There you go. You're in my way, and that's not a good thing. Alright, let's see here. Cause if you're in my way, you get you're gonna get vaporized. That's just the way of things. Alright. Was it this door? I think it was. 
Let's go. Let's see. Yep, it, yep, it was. Perfect. Alright. What's in this room? Hmm. Ah, I see. I guess if we destroy this, the whole thing comes down. Before we do that, though, destroy these boxes and get some items. Let's see, Ether Pack M. There you go. Alright, now we do it. Try not to stand under it. There you go. Oh, it oh it doesn't turn up put the whole thing down. It just actually help us get up. Yeah. Hey bitch! Oh, ah! Damn it, not again! I wanted to get him trapped. Okay, here we go. Not not that this is a big deal. He's gonna go down in like three hits. Probably two. No, I will not surrender! Ah! Surrender is not in my DNA. Boom! There you go. Come on, let's go. Give me money, I might surrender. Maybe not. I don't know. In any case, alright, perfect. Huh, well, that was easy enough. Yeah! Over here though, we get a couple biospheres. Nice. The more the one one of the most annoying things I wanna tell you guys about the game. Is that they don't allow you to buy weapons and armor and money is just non-existent. Sorry about that viewers, I had to um, answer a quick phone call. But yeah, money is non-existent in this game. And like no weapons, you can't buy weapons, can't buy armor and shit like that. Basically, come on Shion, damn. Down girl, there you go. But yeah, it's like that's one of the things that perplexes me about the game. It's annoying. But in the case, um... If you destroy these blocks, you can reset them by hitting this um, panel here. Which you will probably have to hit, you know, 9 times out of 10. Now, what we gotta do is we gotta form a little bridge to get to that little section over there. So, this one is probably going to be annoying. I would only assume that black box over there is in the way. <sighs> Interesting. Alright, before we destroy the blocks down here, go back up, there you go, before we destroy the blocks down here, let's go and destroy these blocks up here first, so yeah, we gotta try and form like a little uh, bridge, but try not, to try not to go crazy and destroy all the blocks, viewers, trust me, it won't, it won't help you if you destroy them all, I've done that before, and trust me, it made me stay in here a bit longer than I had anticipated. Yeah. There you go. Alright, now as you can see, we can't progress any further on that section. So let's head on back down again. Alright. Perfect. Alright, now with this, we got those blocks taken down. The problem is getting to the other blocks. Hmm. One thing I can one thing I can assume is that we have to destroy the blocks at the bottom in order for those black boxes to get lowered too. The problem is getting to them. So yeah, we gotta get to the other ones. All right, bitch. The ones that are at the lower level, I assume we wouldn't even bother taking those anyway. It's the ones that are like two stack boxes that we would need to get to the next um you know the next section. All right, so destroy that. And destroy this. Okay, this should help us there to form a little bridge. But we're not done yet. But yeah, leave those, leave the other blocks alone. Don't touch the other blocks yet. I'm gonna back up here. And we need to continue working on this next section. Trust me on this. If you destroy the wrong box, you're going to be here for a while trying to figure out the puzzle. And even most strategy guys don't give you a good hint. So... I know, it, it, it sucks. It sucks, I know, but that's just how it is. In any case, we're still not out of the woods yet. Next thing we gotta do is destroy the block that's holding up the black the black box, or black box, or block, or whatever the fuck you wanna call it, viewers. That's holding up the one that's on the far left. So basically, <sighs> going back down here, and we got more boxes to destroy. Oh, boy. Fun, isn't it? <laughs> no, 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 it really isn't. Alright. Do not destroy the boxes that have those black boxes on them. The ones that we just, um, went through. 
All right, now, this one. And viewers, be extra careful because the game will trick you into targeting different boxes. So, yeah, you really, you really have to um, tell the game to fuck off at that point and stop, you know, going after all the boxes that you do not want to destroy. Don't, be, don't get tempted to destroy them just because the game is auto-targeting them and shit. But, yeah, that's the solution in how to get over here. So, there you go. Trust me, I played this game several times to know you did not want to get stuck in that room. Trust me, I've got stuck in there. It it, it was like a rage it's like a rage quit moment with that room. Okay, here we go. Especially if you don't know what the fuck you're doing. So Ow! You bitch! Alright. Miss me! Ha! Take this! This is it! Alright, but yeah, just like before, take out the, um, you know, the guy with the weird head. I forget his name already. I wasn't even paying attention. But yeah, take him out first, because he's the one that keeps summoning these bastards. If you don't kill him, he'll just keep on summoning. And you don't want that. It's kind of like you, Yevin, but more annoying. So. Miyuki's new invention's not bad at all. <laughs> Still annoying, though. But she makes great inventions. Though Shion gets really pissy at her for some reason. I don't know why. I mean, they, they are friends. Like, Shion's like, um, we're in high security alert. Why are you fucking calling me? That's what I was talking about, viewers. Her attitude is just really shitty in this game. And we're not done with that either. Just wait till we get to the third game. You really won't. Well, uh, no. no. I won't say any more, because I don't want to spoil it. Is that it? There it is. All right. But how are we going to get on board? The security here isn't exactly easy to override. Brute force. What? Chief, uh, are you sure you want to do this? If we go any further, getting fired will be the least of our problems. <laughs> Oh, be a man already. <coughs> we can't turn back, Alan. We've come this far. Now let's get moving. Oh, man, this is nuts. I got a life. Is she telling me that, is she telling Alan to be a man? Alan's a, Alan inside is probably like, bitch, I have a life. I don't want to get fired and lose my paycheck and and all this shit just because you want to go wild and and save the world and shit i have a life if anything Shion is more is acting more of a man than, than alan is in this case because you know but then again not all men want brute force i'm just saying it's like she's telling alan to be a man yet she's the one that's going and taking charge and shit but i can uh, you know what i, I need to phrase this better <laughs> All right, before we go over there, um, though, uh, I think there's a part over here I might have missed. Nope, I did not. Okay, good. I just wanted to make sure, because I don't want to leave this area and just, you know, forget everything. Use this elevator if you want to go down and use the save point. So, there you go. But, yeah, it's like, I, I got a life. I got money. I don't want to lose that money by losing my job. And yet, you're the one that's trying to you know, make me lose my job inadvertently. So, needless to say, Shion, fuck off. That's what I would probably say if I was Alan, but, you know, I'm not Alan. Alan wouldn't say that, of course, because that's just how Alan is. Alan's too good for this world. No, 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 but Alan represents the man in all of us. Like, I have a job, I have a life, I have family, I don't want to lose it because this bitch wants to act wild and shit. This bitch is crazy! Alright viewers, I'm back. Now I figured out what's on uh, which path to go on here in the conveyor belt. Now go as slow as you can on the conveyor belt until you get to number three. That's on the far left over here. Just slow down. Slow down. Here go! Woohoo! Made it! Yeah, that one's a bit difficult. Ah! Crap! Alright viewers and Mac, now I figured out which way we need to go in the conveyor belt. Now stay 
all the way to the left, and then once you get to the final tier of it, go all the way to the left, where number three is, and directly cross! There you go. Whee! Yay, I made it! Nice! Alright, we're done here. Let's go. Whoo, boy. Yeah, that bar is a little annoying, especially if we don't know where the fuck to go. So, there you go. In the case... Man, yeah, this dungeon is longer than you would think. But, like I said, Xion is a one-woman army. You know, she wants to use brute force while we want to use, you know, the sneaking version of, of Metal Gear Solid. Not the actual fighting. You guys remember back in Final Fantasy VII, you know, when Barrett wanted to storm through the Shinra building and stuff like that? But Cloud and Tifa are all like, eh, let's go, to, let's go up the stairs secretly and shit. But, but Barrett was like, no, I want to go to the front. I want to go to the front. Oh, wow. Yeah, Shion, Shion is the Barrett of this game. As far as personality is concerned. That, that's what I meant. But yeah, on my way. But yeah, um, Alan, Alan is the Cloud and Tifa of the game. <laughs> if we think about it that way. Like, let's not use brute force. Let's go in carefully. Oh, come on. I just want to get the fuck out of here. But no, no, it's not going to be that easy. Yeah, we have one more puzzle. But that's just how it is. That's just how it is. All right. Now we have one more puzzle to do. Press that and you can reset the puzzle. All right. Now you want to destroy three of them. But all but the one in the floor. All right, now, the one on the right of Xion, on the far right, this one, do not destroy that one, um, yet. All right, let's see here. Check my notes. Yeah, pretty much. RC Northwest. Let's try this one. Ah! All right, destroy that. Ew! And this! All right, let's see what happens. Ah! Oh. <laughs> but yeah, destroying those blocks will lower these, so that's that's pretty cool. Can we get across, though? No, no, we still can't get across yet. We gotta destroy those other blocks. Oh! Hey, a treasure chest! Uh, where you going, little feller? Huh, I guess it's going to meet you on the other end. Hmm, where are you going? Let me see. Come on. Ah, there you are. Alright, let's get that treasure chest first. That one is actually important. From over here, you can get Decoder 15. Nice. I think we can use it to unlock that um, Sergeant address that we saw back in the Subconscious Domain Winters um, edition. So, there you go. All right, now then, we got the code of 15. Go back on the first panel. Anything, but this time, that when the cat walked to the south. All right, let's go this way then. Hmm. Hmm. It says southeast, but I think I'm going the wrong way. Let's try. Well, if I destroy that block up there, it's just going to just tilt downwards, and it's still not going to lead me anywhere. All right, let's try over here then. Forward. There you go. Whoa! All right, easy, easy does it. Easy as it goes. If I can get over there quick enough. Go, 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 she on! Woo, I made it! Nice. We are out of here, bitches. <sighs> Man. Oh, come on. I just want to get the fuck out of here! You people keep getting in my way! Oh, bitch! More enemies! Our viewers is a mech. Now, as you can see, I'm fast-forwarding the fuck through here because it is really fucking windy. <laughs> Basically, what we gotta do is we got to get to that glass... Get to one of those glass panels and shit. 
We have to do this like really, really fast, even though we're technically getting thrown the fuck back. So yeah, go over here, get to the panel. <sighs> but you have to be quick with this, otherwise you ain't getting to it. All right, careful. Go on! Yes, made it. a little too windy for my liking, but we did it. We did it. <sighs> okay. Are we good? Did we get through all the traps, all the puzzles, you know, all that shit? Did we manage to get through it? Are we done? I think we are. Good. Get up there, Shion! Damn. <laughs> I swear, Shion has first game syndrome. She just, like, Goes up the ladder, just goes back down it. I'm trying to direct you to get off it. Uh, just a small little pet peeve, nothing more. Think nothing of it. All right, we're finally through the fucking damn wrong. That took way too damn long. Hmm. So now what? Oh. Uh, Warning. This area is currently off limits to unauthorized personnel. Ripper Please run. leave immediately. Make me, bitch! Oh! Shit! Whew. All right, viewers, I'm back. They had the, they actually had the boss music for that. Those were just regular Francel enemies. How odd. No, 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 I don't want to go down. There you go. All right, what's... Oh, I guess we're done here. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, boy. No unauthorized personnel. No solicitors. And then they just summon mechanical enemies to just go and kill you. Wow. I mean, what if I'm just an employee, but lost, but lost his ID in his room or something? Hmm. How's it looking? Well, the power's active. Looks like we can do this. I'll initiate the system. Please, hurry and get inside. Okay. All right. <gasps> Uh-oh. <laughs> Shit! Ah, but it looks like we're a little late. We're kind of surrounded. Why is she so yeah, calm? I see them. Hang on tight, Chief. Wait! Alan! Too late! Get out the way if you don't want to get shot, bitches! What a man! Not bad. Alan, I'm impressed. Well, it's all part of being a man. <laughs> and the oh my! Of love. Did you say something? <laughs> Did you say something? Oh! I'm gonna floor it. Hang on tight. Okay, floor it! Huh? Uh oh. Damn! See ya! Don't fire me, boss! <laughs> he just don't even give a damn! Wow, he's... Uh. The hell? We detected Albedo's ascension. This is Red Guy again. I see. He did well. The lock has been opened and the, uh, and the uh, obstacle removed. The rest is up to her. So, you're just going to let Shion and Alan go? Wow. Huh. Wilhelm seems like a pretty good boss. I mean, if I did something like that, I'd be fired for sure. Or killed, really. Will matters proceed smoothly? She is suited for the task. There will be no problems. People always try to live a life of choices between good and evil. They make pessimism their foundation and praise misfortune and sorrow, and then they try to seek a pure heart. Yet that, yet this is nothing more than their in individual view, born out of comparison with others. Is she the one who thinks others right? Is he who opened the door wrong? Only those who stand in the, in the place beyond that point can comprehend the true essence and gain knowledge of absolute truth. I don't understand. <laughs> Her awakening, Cosmos' awakening, will lead us to that summit. Don't you agree? Hmm. Who is this red guy? 
In any case, the intermission is over and the players stand upon the stage. All that remains is to wait for the knight to appear. And for that, it is necessary for someone to play the role of the villain. Will he suffice for that role? D do you object? The greater the suffering, the more exciting the drama. Well, I, I kind of agree with that. The more drama, the better, because it just it just means more popcorn to be eaten. One point four one parsecs to Milsha. No ship signatures around. We're halfway there. This ship is fast as fuck. Uh oh! Shit! They were waiting for us. <gasps> Who the hell is this? facial features. It's so bizarre. What? What the heck? Whoa! That's a bike? No. Damn. No. Damn back if you don't get hurt. Wait, Cosmos. Where are you going? Xion. What? Xion is calling me. Yeah. I'm going to my sister! Chief Uziki is... <laughs> all, all you motorcycle enthusiasts, eat your heart out. Wow. Damn. Oh, it's all over. Jeez. Get a grip. I thought you were a man. Quit whining and shoot something. <laughs> <laughs> Is this the end? Uh, looks like. Oh. Uh. Who the hell is this? Cosmos. Shion, I am switching your craft to control mode B. Prepare for docking. What? Docking? Wow! How is it so fast? <laughs> oh my god! This is an ES! Just like Asher! Oh, that's so cool! Wow! Oh my god, it's so beautiful! Oh shit! Why did her eyes turn blue? Too bright, too bright! <laughs> Suck on this, bitches! I'm out of here. See ya! Beautiful. <laughs> it was so beautiful. <laughs> oh my god.
god! That's how you do a space battle. I think we're saved. <laughs> huh. Oh, thank goodness. That was close. Enemy craft have withdrawn from sensor range. Cosmos to the rescue. Cosmos. Thank you. Oh. Chief, a transmission. A transmission? From who? Yo, Miss Vector. That was quite a show you put on out there. Captain Matthews! That voice. Hey, if you're alive, say something already. Yeah, it's the... Captain! The Elsa! Good timing! <laughs> wow! They came at the right time! Alright, we're on the Elsa! Nice! And it gives yours, we're on the Elsa, so you know what? We might as well go and meet with the captain and the others. The ship looks different! Wow! In any case... Hey, squad! <laughs> Captain, we owe you one. Yo, looks like you're causing trouble, like always. Yeah, something kind of happened at First Division. Something? Yeah, I can't put it into words very well, but I felt I had to go to Old Milsha. What? What? What's wrong, Captain? Representative Helmer asked us to go to Old Milsha, too. I didn't think that there was anyone else crazy enough to head there. <laughs> yeah, Helmer asked me to go there too. Besides, that's where the original Zohar is. Kanan and I have business on Old Milsha as well. Representative Helmer asked me to analyze Kanan's data. So everyone is headed for Old Milsha. Why does Jen keep on hitting his back like that? <laughs> Cosmos was amazing back there. Yeah, even I was surprised, but who was that enemy? It even dodged Cosmos' attack. I have a bad feeling about this. Yeah. Yeah, I wondered at that myself. Alright, let me say something. Our next destination is Old Milsha, right? I can't say I'm looking forward to it, but it looks like, we're, looks like we have to go. So, let me know when you're ready to set out. Until then, take a look around the newly re remodeled Elsa. Oh, I definitely will. And in the case, viewers, we are on the Elsa now. I told you time and again to think before you act. Oh well, I'm, I'm, I'm just glad you're safe. So I assume you still intend to go to Old Milsha? Pretty much. That mobile weapon you were in seems to be an ES series. RES reacted to it. Wow. I'm sure you have your reasons, since you're already here. I'm not going to tell you to leave, but please let me know. Don't do anything foolish. Do you understand? I'll try to, Dad. That brother. <laughs> In any case, all right, we're on the Elsa viewers, and just like before, we got the save point in the EVS um, plate if you want to go back and revisit old areas. Now that we're on the Elsa, we have a um, well, we have a couple GS quests to do now. So yeah, let's do that next time on Let's Play Xenosaga Episode Two. If you guys enjoy, you know what to do: hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more gaming videos from me. Hit the bell so you're notified whenever I upload new stuff on YouTube. Got something to say? Leave a comment. So next time, do you do this? Mike from Rage Break Game, and I hope your rage breaks. Have a good day, bros and brosettes. Smell you later.